When things are most challenging, sometimes you just gotta ease up, lighten up, survive the storm, so to speak, and then get back to the plans, right? Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by for a green thought from the greenhouse. I think, um, now, now and then, critical times force big shifts, big paradigm shifts, big transitions, and um, there's something to be said for that in trauma. Um, but in general, and what I was just thinking about here in the greenhouse is like when it's, you know, when things are like when you just got all wilty because you didn't have enough water, that's not a good time to go like moving your location. First, recover from, you know, the stress of, of just not being in alignment, not being in good balance, and then make those changes like getting a new pot, getting a new house, getting a new job. Again, that's tricky for us people because sometimes we don't get a new job or a new house until we're forced to um, through some traumatic or dramatic incident. So um, I do think, though, that it's a good general rule of thumb to not make big, important moves and decisions and changes when you're under stress. So um, even like, say, your house burns down, instead of making choosing what you're going to do right in the state of panicking, give yourself some time to recover, maybe stay with friends and family for a while while you decide what your next gonna move is going to be from a place of calm and from from not from an emergency fight or flight kind of place, right? Um, that's just an example I pulled out of the ether, but I think you get the idea of even when it's critical and there is a change caused, you know, forced by trauma or drama in your world, like uh, maybe you lose somebody who's close to you, instead of, you know, deciding right then and there that you're, that you're never going to have children, maybe, you know, leave those big decisions on the fence for a little while, recognize that you're under a lot of stress, a lot of trauma, and just give yourself a break, just get through, maybe have a piece of cake, just get through the trauma and the drama as best you can by being nice to yourself and others, by being gentle, by navigating the storm, the currents, the, the uh, rapids as best you can, and then when things are a little calmer, when you're feeling a little more stable, then make those big life decisions or changes. That's my green thought for today. I'd love it to, if you have anything to add or comment or ask in the comment section. That was redundant, wasn't it? Uh, as always, you can find other ways speaking are redundant. There's lots of ways you can connect with me, and many of those are listed in the description, as well as lots of ways you can support me, like Patreon, like my eBay store, my Etsy store, my books on Amazon, my music on Reverb Nation, and much, much more. As always, I wish you love, lightheartedness, laughter, peaceful conflict resolution. Don't forget to play every day.